Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Her Curls Are Bad. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do my high bun, well faux bun, that I did with the O-Tree hair that I got off of Amazon. So I started off with my low bun and I wore in this style all week at work, to the store, pretty much everywhere. And it was time to fix it and do something new because I had an event to go to the next day which was yesterday, <laughs> but I'm taking the ponytail out. I just use a hair tie to attach it to my head and I'm gonna speed this through. So I put several bobby pins in it to hold it down. So this is how the hair looks. It is so cute and it blends in so well with my hair. So I'm taking the elastic out of my head and I'm gonna spray my head with water with one of these spray bottles that you can get from Sally Beauty. And my hair is drenched I sprayed it all over and finger detangled so I'm gonna take a shower and just co-wash with some plain water actually no co-wash but just plain water I just rinsed all of the hair product through off of my head with the water so I'm going to section off my hair and apply a leave-in I'm using the main choice leave-in conditioner and I'm also using the what what else am I using? I'm also using the Kinky Tresses leaving as well. I use both of these because these are my favorite leave-in conditioners and they're very easy to detangle your hair with, especially if you're just getting out the shower and you want to detangle your hair real quick. And you see that I'm detangling my hair with my fingers, not a comb. I could have gone with a wide tooth comb, but I did use a wide tooth comb before I did this style back well a week ago so I brushed my hair using the tangle teaser brush in the back before I decide to pull my hair up into a ponytail I tried to do the 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 ponytail method of getting all my hair up into a ponytail but that didn't work too well but as you see here, my hair doesn't look too bad by just using my hands and the paddle brush that I had. Well, the um, the boar bristle brush to brush up my hair into a ponytail. It looks kind of funky now before I put my, um, my uh, ponytail on, but you'll see that it looks great in the end. So I'm just taking my ponytail with the outre hair that I got off of Amazon. I will have the link down below for this hair if you'd like to purchase in my Amazon store. And it is a little bit off when it comes to color. My hair is a dusty brown and the hair that I got, I got it in color 1B. I probably should have got it in color number two, but it actually looks cute in like, like a high puff or, or like a side ponytail. I might do that style next, I'm not sure. But it looks so cute, but I'm just gonna tie it around my bun that I have made at the top and I'm gonna pin it down with some bobby pins. You see my wig on my wig stand in the back there. But I'm just gonna take the hair and twist it with, well, I'm gonna twist it in one direction. You'll see how I do it, but I'm gonna twist some of the hair around the base of the ponytail and then I'm going to pin that down with the bobby pin and I'm going to twist another section in another direction, the opposite direction, so I can get some texture going with the ponytail. I didn't want it to be too tight. I wanted it to be realistic looking bun with my own hair and everybody thought this was my hair. I fooled everybody <laughs> at work with this hair. Like everybody was like, oh my goodness, your hair grew so long after taking out your braids. I'm like, uh-huh, girl. My hair just grows so long when, you know, you put it in braids and leave it alone, girl. Yeah, but <laughs> I knew that this wasn't my hair. So, I mean, I bought it. So, I mean, it is mine. <laughs> but I'm going to just continue pinning my hair down with the bobby pins.
For my edges, I'm using the Edge Booster Edge Pomade in the scent Strawberry. Uh, you probably have seen me use this in my past videos, but I'm using it on my edges. And I got this edge brush from Sally Beauty. It is a heavy duty edge brush and it's really thick. The um, handlebar on it is very thick and it has a pointy edge on it. So it's great for parting and getting some product out of the little jar. So I'm just putting some of that on my edges. Try not to use too much of this because it can leave a white residue. The style that I had before this one, the low ponytail, I used the Edge Booster Pomade for my edges. And you can see in the beginning of this video that I had some gray residue. So that comes from that product if you use too much of it. So I, I suggest only using it one time. If you reapply, uh, you could wet it a little bit with a spray bottle and it should uh, take away some of the stickiness of the product so you can reapply some more, but just a little bit because you do not want any gray <laughs> residue on your edges. I've been there before. But after I put this edge booster on, I'm going to wrap my hair up in a silk cap. Well, not silk cap, but a silk wrap <laughs> with my scarf. And you'll see my uh, results in the morning. And this is the finished look of the high bun faux ponytail bun <laughs> look that I have going on here. I got my makeup on and it's looking good if I do say so myself. The highlight is popping. The brows are looking on fleek and the edges is slick back. As you can see here, I'm really feeling myself. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm looking at this video, I'm really fiddling myself. You see me posing. But I will leave a link down in the description from where you can get this hair. I bought this on Amazon. I believe it was 
and it wasn't that expensive and three bundles come in one pack so I took a bundle and a half to make this ponytail and uh, well the low ponytail and this high bun and you can use it over and over and over as it gets frizzier it looks more like your hair so I thank you for watching this video don't forget don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye